Ho, 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 everyone. Since Christmas is coming up in the next four days, and yesterday, me and my mom were talking about how Christmas is more special, magical, when telling kids about Santa Claus exist, even though they will eventually find out as they get older. We all have experienced this growing up. Our parents tell us Santa is real, he came by, ate the cookies, left a note, leaving footprints in the snow, but it was your parents the whole time. You probably don't recall your parents leaving footprints in the snow. If you do, you probably thought it was just someone else's random footprints. And also Santa drinking milk when really it was just your parents drinking the milk. What sucks is that you come to find out Santa isn't real. But 99% of the time, you'll possibly find out by someone else who is not your parents. Like a classmate of yours will tell you at school, Santa is not real. But you denied it, causing the both of you to go back and forth, fighting, arguing. Uh, you probably have some mean kids laughing and pointing their fingers at you because you still believe in Santa while they stop believing once their parents told them or they found out on their own. Parents wouldn't even be caught dead telling their kids unless their kids caught them in the middle of the night. Once you find out, you'll pretty much start to ask yourself, how can Santa, an older, chubby, jolly man in a red suit can go around the world delivering presents? I mean, sure, it can happen in cartoons, but it seems highly impossible in reality because Santa could either have back problems or have a heart attack besides sweating like a pig and being totally exhausted where he has to sit down and take a breather. There are other lies parents have told you, like the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, when really it's just your parents putting money under your pillow. I understand why parents do this since Christmas seems more magical during your childhood until you're a teenager. After that, it may not feel so special as an adult because it's all about the kids. Plus, because of the society we live in, it's like you can't feel like a kid at heart or you can't get the gifts you got when a kid is because your parents or whoever will probably judge you saying, you don't need comic books or animated related stuff anymore. You're an adult, not a kid. Forget what society thinks. At the same time, What's the point of lying to your kids when they will eventually find out? You mean to tell me Christmas would be less magical if you told them Santa wasn't real? I still think it can still be magical regardless. I'm not buying that. Parents will probably say, oh, it's not a big deal. It could have been worse. <laughs> yeah, you say that. Well, i rather find out by my own parents than some classmate or anybody else from school telling me Santa isn't real. And it can be a big deal when believing Santa is real and it sounds wonderful, but then our feelings are hurt because he's not real. Our parents were kids once. Don't tell me they never experienced the same thing. I bet the people who don't want to have children Maybe one of the reasons they don't want to have kids is that they wouldn't dare tell their kids Santa is not real, then they find out later. It's like when your parents' parents tell them that Santa isn't real, then it's like when they have kids, they tell their kids and their kids, and it seems like it just continues to telling kids that Santa isn't real as it keeps going on for years and years and years to come. And it keeps going down the line. And I just think that's ridiculous. Why keep it going? It's like enough is enough. What's the point? I mean, it could be fine for parents to like tell their kids that Santa isn't real, but you can still pretend that he is real by still having the sake of the magical special moments when it comes around Christmas. You know, I'd rather parents just tell their kids, as long as your parents don't find out, because it'll be a hot mess that your parents find out you told your kids, and then they have to confront you about it saying, no, that's not right. 
You're not letting your kids, you're not letting my grandchildren feel the magic and special moments when it comes to Christmas. You know you're not right. And yada, yada, yada. And then it goes back and forth. Okay, people don't have time to be going back and forth about this and that. That way it can be your and your children's little secret. Your parents and your grandparents don't need to find out. I think I stopped believing in Santa Claus by the time I was in the third grade. After that, I, I really don't recall still believing in Santa when I was in middle school and definitely not in high school. This has been my video. Tell me how were you when you found out Santa wasn't real? Uh, did your parents tell you or did you find out from somebody else at school or another family member? And if you found out at school, did people make fun of you for it? Did you end up in a fight or whatever and pissed off? And what was your emotions, your feelings when you found out Santa wasn't real? Because you were probably bummed out. And do you think that Christmas would be less magical and not so special if kids found out that Santa wasn't real? And if you hypothetically ever had kids, would you just flat out tell your kids that Santa is not real, but you would still pretend that he is real for the sake of a special magical moment when it comes to Christmas time. That's about it. And I hope you all have a wonderful Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.